What is organic search and how do we find that data in GA4? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. So if we search in Google for GA4 uh, data streams, we're going to find data-driven new result right here. And if we click on it, this visit is going to count as an organic search visit. In GA4, we're going to find that in acquisition overview and we can find it here. For example, if I was a new user, which I'm not, my first user source medium would be Google Organic. We also have Bing Organic results here. So if we change this to default channel group, you will see organic search dominating the first user default channel grouping. Also, when it comes to sessions, number one traffic source is organic search as well. Your acquisition overview report is probably not going to look like this. We customize it a little bit for Data Driven New because there is no e-commerce on Data Driven New, so it's mostly a lead generation website. But you can see similar cars like these. When you think about organic search, it's basically what drives traffic to our website for free. Obviously, it's not free. You got to work really hard for Google to rank your website results in positions that are actually um, interesting enough or high enough for users to click. But you get the point. So organic as a traffic source is important when it comes to filtering, because if you want to understand how your pages actually behave, let's say we change this to page path. So we can say that DDU homepage is dominating number of views in the recent period. But if we change this to include only medium equals organic, you will see that actually homepage is not even among top 10 pages reached organically on DDU website. Obviously, these are the blog posts that uh, address particular searches that people are querying Google and homepage is not something that actually caters to a specific query that people type into Google when they want to ask something. Now, if we look at did you roll up property, you will see that we have also something called SEO reports here as a collection. And this data here comes from GA4 property being connected to a Search Console. Search Console, previously known as Webmaster Tools, is a Google service that helps people to understand what happens with the organic results of the website. And when you connect it properly to a GA4 property, you get to see a specific collection called SEO Reports, and then you can customize it further down. For example, this one says GA4 landing pages, but uh, apart from only landing pages, we created one that actually focuses around the landing pages which convert. And then, as you can see here, we have specific conversions on this property. So there are pages that convert and there are those that don't. But we can understand better how each page actually converts. And these are only from organic visits to the website. When it comes to e-commerce purchases for websites that do uh, deal with e-commerce, filtering uh, organic results would be crucial. Here, unfortunately, we cannot see any of the e-commerce data in GA4. I hope that you like this video, that you understand organic search better and how to find it in GA4. And if you did like the video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.